How's it going today? It's early in the morning, about 10.30. I just woke up really super early today. And we're gonna try to get this engine out this morning. I do have a harness at the back of the cannon bolt, so we're gonna lift the engine, bring it forward a little bit, and then unbolt that. And then after that, it should come out. The first thing you wanna do when you're pulling an engine like this, is maybe slap some chains on her. That's what I'm thinking. Well, I'm gonna use some real good stuff here. So don't be laughing at me but she'll work just fine. These fuel lines are gonna be in my way, but we should be able to work that out too. You gotta to keep the cherry picker nice and low too so we can clear the old garage roof. The first thing I'm gonna do is use this really, really short chain here. You know, you don't wanna use a chain that's too long, just a little, little bit, little bit long, not too bad. And it should be fine. Maybe. We don't have to worry about hitting anything with the chain right now because as you know, this engine's just gonna be parts anyway, so. So slap a freaking nut and bolt through this and some washers. Always make sure you put your washers on and get them freaking nuts on all the way. That way you don't have any slippage. That looks like a real safe freaking bolt there, just so you know. Had a little minor mishap off the old camera there too. When I set the truck down off, taking off the jack stands out of the four by fours here, I forgot to chuck the back wheels and the truck rolled off and smashed into my bench. So I fucked the bumper up, Jim. We're gonna have to paint that. All right, so we'll put that through there. Fortunately, we have the eyeballs for this on the engine. We got the uh, the old, how you doing ring holes. You know what, that doesn't look too good. We're gonna have to get a bigger washer. Hold on a minute, Frank. I'll put two in the back because that's where the whole weight is because the 400 Turbski transmission's still on her. And you all know, the old 400 transmission ski, she ain't the lightest. You know what I'm saying? So what we're gonna need here is we're gonna need two of these big ones and a nut. And make sure that nut's on as good as we can get her. There we go. Okay. So now we'll put a bigger watch on the front. This thing should come out pretty easy, hopefully. Might be a little tough with one guy. I've never been the kind of person to wait around for people. I just do it. Sometimes that's a good thing and sometimes it's a bad thing, but we're gonna go with the good thing today. Because she's a beauty morning. And we don't wanna take disadvantage of that one. All right, some people be nervous doing this. To be honest with you, I ain't nervous at all. Should be a piece of cake, especially with all the room I got. Look at her go. Hey, just watch the front bumper of the truck. That'd be a good idea to do. We do have cover it up, but she ain't gonna stop us from getting the old dead rooski, I'll tell you that. We should come out one more, I think. Bring the hammer out one more. She's got a hammer adjustment. There we go, now I'm guaranteed not to hit my bumper. Perfect. Bring it up a little bit. There you go there. So we'll see how it comes out. Probably have to go back further yet. I just wanna see what happens here. Something's happening, maybe. Sometimes people put a chain across the other way to keep her more level. But we're just gonna see what it does. I think we'll be pretty good. Okay, we're gonna have to do some finer adjustments here. Bring it back down a little bit. Got to get her a little higher to the front for now and pull her out. It's been a minute since I did this, y'all. I think I am going to friggin' prop it. Hold on a sec. Let's get this thing so it comes out even. All right. Here we go again. This should level her up a little bit now. We got a wedge cap. that transmission comes off that training mount she's gonna swing down that's what I want her to do okay so let's stop there and get that line disconnected okay so we need a ratchet for that Hello, there, Hello, God only knows why there's a bolt way down there to hold the wire no it's nothing in the way isn't it no they put a bolt down here to hold a wiring harness it's on a goddamn transmission bolt okay let us down for a minute no I can't so what's going on today I'm still full from last yesterday. I got turkey dinner this afternoon, so I come up this morning to see you. Can you get a box and wrench in there? Really? Let's see if we can come forward some more. Watch out, because once the transmission drops off the thing, it's going to drop to the ground. I'm going to pull off the stand though. You want me to do that? That jack was wonderful now. Why? Oh, yeah, this jack is so good now, boys. Six hours later. Oh, 
Oh my god, this jack isn't even working. Look, that's I can do a small stuff. No, I don't want you doing anything. I can get it. I just gotta get it the right angle to dangles. There it goes. Yeah, you got to go now. Right in behind there. Go. Okay, now I should be able to read those harnesses. Oh, I think so. Okay, so that's good. That can come with the tranny. That can stay. What's this mark on your back bumper? And now I can get that off. I don't even see it. You're not looking then? <laughs> it's not that bad. I can't even see it. Oh, Dad, come on. You haven't found it yet. No. Oh, and a little bit right here? Put some blue tape over it. I thought you pushed the whole thing in or something. It sucks. It's okay, though. It's not that bad. No. Oh, can you fill the hole? Probably. Wow, that was easier with that out, boys. Go, people. Oh, yeah, I got one more in the tranny, too. We'll get that in a minute. Okay, so up you go. More. How's everything looking over here? Good. There she goes. That's what I'm gonna do. Hanging up on this motor mount, Bill. Okay, thanks, Dad. I don't know what this cherry picker's trying to do. Oh, that's no fucking good. No, that thing isn't. Why is it all twisted and cockeyed? No, you're too off center, that's why. Well, no, I see what's going on. Cherry picker leg's all fucked up. It's trying to come out. That's why you catch these things, eh? She's mint. I don't know why he's all the way in. Yeah, I don't think so. Something weird. Something weird going on there, Pops. Better. Great. What happened? The jerry picker up the engine. I'm not worried about wrecking something down there. No, I don't mean. That's my life story getting hung up, Captain. Arr, Captain! Hey, it's amazing how it comes up a little nicer when you uh, do it right, eh? Are we getting any lift on the back at all? Let me move that jack to make sure. We might have to reposition the chain. Careful. What are you going to do with the old engine, Bill? No. Scrap it. Well, I need parts off of it. All right, now, what I need to do, there we go. So now, we just gotta bring the chain back so it picks up more of the back of the engine. You enjoy doing this kind of stuff? I do, when it's going smoothly, yeah. What? Do I not look like I'm enjoying myself? Yeah, put a chain on there. Oh, shit. I thought <laughs> like maybe you thought it was on the hook. All right, now we should come up a little bit more rear heavy. Yeah, there we go. Now she's off the ground. Coming back to me, Dad. It's been 15 years since I pulled the engine out. Yeah. Isn't it fun? I don't mind it. Don't get too far, because you gotta... Oh, yeah, you're okay. No, I can get her. Like I said, it's been a long time. She's coming. I don't quit until it's out. Come for a little bit more, have an eye. Here we go. Yeah, you can't push the truck back. You gotta swipe the machine ahead. We do. Ford, have an eye. You guys watching this? Freaking hope so. Say hi to the camera, Pops. Hey. How you doing, hey. bud? How do all the chains look? Good? They're all holding? Okay, go away, B. Go away, B. There's a lot of bees out today. Okay, it must be hooked on the chain. Oh, just straight on the uh, firewall. No, I'm hooked on the chain. Have an eye. Captain. Stay. Up, out, up. Oh, we're gonna be close for height, I'll tell you. I'm not gonna pull that yoke out, am I? I'm hooked again, aren't I? Right out. Forward, up, forward, up, forward. Hooked on the train again. That son of a bitch. Yeah, on the yoke. Forward. Oh yeah. Up. You gonna, how can you pull out when it's hiding in the garage door? Watch. She's fine. She's not on the garage door yet. Oh, I gotta get that off. See me, Dad? What hit the bumper, Bill? The vice? The square that's hanging off the bench. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Simple little thing like that, huh? Yeah, that's all it takes, eh? Get any junk for the day, Dad? Probably not. Right. Distribute the weight properly. You don't want her to tip when she comes over. You know what I'm saying? I can look at the back of the engine and uh, the if you want. No, hold on, Dad. I want you to get her. You see that? I'm gonna come down just a hair now. Maybe we'll get you hold this, Dad, just over here. Just grab that. No problem. Yeah. Should be good. Get ready. Come back. Down 
the ground. A little bit, get the counterweight down. Yeah, we did. There you go, boys, girls, peoples. Right, Dad? Yeah, Might be a little frustrating, but. Now we gotta clean all the frame and everything. She's out. We got a hole in the ground. Now we can clean all the frame up and all the wiring and oh yeah, friggin' right. There she is. Anybody looking for a 400 transmission, there's one right there, HD baby. Hit me up in the comment section below. But the old thrill flies out. I know I'm slow, but what it is, it is what it is. So don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification. And I'll see you on the next one. What's the difference between that transmission?